Hey everybody, Al Franken here. There's nothing funny about today's YouTube video other than the almost certain fact that if these midterms go badly, it could be the end of our democracy. Dark humor, it's historically had its place. And that place is to get you door knocking. Let me explain. I won my first race for the Senate in 2008 by 312 votes out of nearly 2.9 million. And when, after some delay, I got to the Senate, I was the 60th Democratic Senator. And that's how we got the Affordable Care Act. That means if it hadn't been for the Minnesotans who knocked on doors for me, some of you watching this right now would be dead. That's how important door knocking is. And it's why I want you to go door knocking to encourage folks to vote for Democrats or Evan McMullen in Utah. He's the independent running against Mike Lee, and it's really close. Well, I know you're thinking, Al, you want me to go out and door knock? I hate people. Okay, you probably shouldn't go door knocking. But you can phone bank. I mean, can you tolerate talking to people you hate on the phone? No? Okay, there's uh, text banking, or you can bake some cookies for local volunteers. You're, you're gluten intolerant. That, that doesn't matter. You're not eating the cookies. Look, look, you can always give money. That's something you can do. I would suggest Unite Here, the Hospitality Workers Union. I always give them money. In 2020, they knocked on over 3 million doors in Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Florida, and Pennsylvania. And they knocked on over a million doors during the Georgia Senate runoffs that gave us the Senate. Right now, they're on the ground in Nevada, Arizona, and Pennsylvania knocking on doors. And you can give them money so they can afford to put more boots on the ground. Now, there are others of you who are thinking... Well, Al, I, I like people. You know some people. I mean, there's some people I don't like. Very often it depends on... Stop it! Look, it is so tight in so many states and in congressional districts and state legislative races and for governor and in secretary of state races. There is so much at stake. The Republican Party no longer believes in democracy. They don't, they don't believe in anything. Have you heard one idea from a Republican on how they would reduce inflation? They bitch constantly about inflation, and it, it, it's terrible. It really hurts folks. Rents are skyrocketing. Inflation is a real problem hitting real Americans every day, but the Republicans have nothing. The Inflation Reduction Act will bring down the cost of pharmaceuticals for folks in Medicare and health insurance premiums for people in the ACA, and your energy costs. And it requires profitable corporations to pay at least 15% in taxes, and that'll bring down the deficit. And every Republican in Congress voted against it. But this stuff hasn't kicked in yet, except you can get over-the-counter hearing aids now for less money. I said, you can get over-the-counter hearing aids now! You see, I... I got. I have hearing aids, except uh, these weren't over over the counter. I should have waited. But anyway, that's what we're doing something. But these Republicans really don't believe in anything. Other than that, is a really, really great idea for Americans to own assault weapons, and that climate change is a hoax, or that in addition to being lied to about the election and the climate, that the coronavirus is a hoax and vaccines don't work. And some of them do believe that the exact moment the sperm fertilizes an egg, that that's a human being. You know, people like Herschel Walker. Oh, Al, that's a cheap shot. Is it? Is it? They're all behind him. Mitch McConnell, the Koch brothers, the whole lot of them. And we can't let them take over the Senate, and we can't let them take over the House, and we have to beat them in state races and local races, and that's where door knocking comes in. You can do this, and it can make all the difference, all the difference. I know. 
Many of you have jobs. Many of you have, have families. Ignore them. Let me tell you something. An eight-year-old kid knows how to use a microwave oven. And another thing, an eight-year-old kid knows how to teach a five-year-old kid to use a microwave oven. That, that's just science. Door knocking is fun, or it can be. Well, how do I do this, Al? Well, let me ask you this. Do you think I'd do this video if I didn't have the information? First of all, it depends where you live. In Minnesota, the Democratic Farmer Labor Party does door knocking all the time. Call your local DFL party or this number or go to the website. Now, if you live in Arizona, Nevada, or Pennsylvania, have I got a contact for you. Seedthevote.org. Now, there are some options here. Seedthevote.org can hook you up with Unite Here. You can volunteer to work the doors with Unite Here in Nevada, Arizona, and Pennsylvania now by going to seedthevote.org. Now. And seedthevote.org is also on the ground in Georgia, North Carolina, and Wisconsin right now. Now, I'll put the links to the other states at the end of this video. This is so important. You don't want to be sitting around on November 9th and watching returns from these crucial races and seeing a race where we're losing by a couple hundred votes, a race that could decide the balance of the U.S. Senate or of the House. Door knocking is fun. And at the very least, it's really interesting. And who knows? This just might be something that you end up doing the, the rest of your life. I have grandkids. You might too. Or you might someday. Or you might choose not to have children. But door knock! Door knock! Thank you. <laughs>